8,000 runners and walkers completed the 5K course to remember the lives lost to the disease and to raise awareness about the millions of people fighting their own battles against cancer. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javed was at the event and heard from people as to why these kinds of events really do matter. This right here rocking a pink hair headband is Steve Akesian. The 52-year-old has been taking part in the Komen Detroit race for the cure since 2000. What was it like attending an event then compared to attending an event now? Is it still a celebration of the people that are struggling? My mom has uh, gone through breast cancer and neighbors and friends. Just too many, unfortunately, to count. One of them was Steve's wife. Rachel was diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2001. She had really aggressive treatment and it put it off for 10 years. She was 100% in remission, uh, got to see our boys, you know, grow and become full grown men. But then when she was uh, just turning 40, a little after 40, then she found out she had breast cancer come back. Rachel lost her fight against the disease in 2019. Now Steve, his two sons, family and friends all join hands at events like this to carry on Rachel's fight by creating awareness. Three years later, what do you remember most about her? Just that, that strength and that courage. I mean, with the time she had left, she wanted to do things like this. Recent data from the CDC shows about one in eight women across the country will develop breast cancer. On average, every two minutes, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States.